Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today I'm going to answer a very common question that I get in the majority of my Galaxy Note 10 videos. And the question is, what case are you using on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? Now the case that I've been using ever since the launch of the phone has been the OtterBox Symmetry Clear Case. Now I chose this one because it gives protection as well as it doesn't really feel like it's slippery. It's kind of a non-slip surface and it's mostly because it's clear because I do have the Aura Blue. So I'd love to see the color of the phone that I purchased as well as protect it. Now there are some positives and negatives when it comes down to this case. So let's first talk about the good stuff. So when it comes down to the protection, you're getting something that is really protecting your phone without being way too bulky. So when you look at the top and the bottom, basically your forehead and the chin, you're going to see that the overlap above the screen is quite high. So if I was to put it right over here, you can see on the bottom where the chin is at, that it goes right past the phone. And it, it's a little bit further than what you see on your edges. So usually with most cases, you're not going to see, you know, too much lip go along the corners, but you'll see the lip on the forehead and the chin. And so this is really what you're looking for. So when you do place your phone onto a table, it's not going to hit the phone first. So for for me, I always lay my phone basically face down all the time. If I'm, you know, eating dinner, if I'm hanging out with family or friends, if I'm just even at home, I don't want to look at the screen. Uh, really, kind of for privacy for myself, and also that I'm not getting distracted by my cell phone. So it's a way I'd be able to place my phone down, and I'm good to go. Now, also too, it is clear, so I love the fact that I'm able to see the color of the phone. So if you have the Aura Glow, if you get the Aura Blue, really, this is what you'll be looking for. So you can actually see that brilliant color. So it does have really good drop protection. It is ultra slim. It is one piece and easy on and easy off. So we talked about all of the goods when it comes down to this case. Also, let's talk about the clickability. I can't, I can't forget that. So when you click on, you know, the side key, when you click on your volume rocker, everything is just fantastic. It's nothing that you have to press hard with. And sometimes you'll run into cases where it's just not fun to click it, but this one has a little bit of a sound that goes with the click. Uh, and so the, the, the functions of the buttons are perfectly fine with this one. Everything aligns the way it's supposed to align. Also, because this one is the Note series, let's talk about the S Pen. You have to have a case that you can take that S Pen out with ease. And so with this one, you're gonna do it basically along the bottom or you're gonna do it on the edge. And the reason why is because on the top right over here, you can see where there is plastic and protection, so you won't be pulling it from the top. So now that we've talked about all of the positives with this case, it is clear to see the brilliant color. It does protect your phone. The clickability of the buttons are fantastic. It's not slippery on the back, so I know that I have a good hold on it. So now let's talk about the negatives. And the negatives on this one is just how easily it's able to be scratched. So if I was to show it right over here, you can just see how many scratches is on there. I'm trying to see if I can get that reflection right there. There we go. So you can see all those little scratches that's sitting on there. And the thing about it is that, you know, I'm, I'm very careful when it comes down to this case and I didn't have it for that long. Uh, let's say I was to, you know, remove some of these fingerprints as well. So as we go through, you can just see how many scratches are on this thing. Uh, like look right there, you see all those scratches uh, there's even a large one kind of towards the middle right there. So let's see if I can get another, another look at it again. There's just way too many scratches for a case that says it's scratch resistant. So my phone is now scratch resistant because it has a case on it. So it's technically doing the job of that. But the manufacturing of this case where it said scratch resistant, it means it should be resisting the scratches and it's in my pocket for a long portion of the days where there's no keys or change. I don't, I don't hold any of that stuff. I always separate my phone. I don't know why I just do. Uh, it, it sits on my table a lot where I shoot videos. It also sits sometimes on the ground at a gym, but I'm not, you know, standing on it and sliding with it with my feet or, or throwing it or doing anything. So for this one to be the, you know, have this many scratches in a short amount of time for a case that says scratch resistant, that for me is a negative because the other reason why I purchased it to be clear is so I can see a good looking phone, but then my phone doesn't look as good looking because it has a lot of scratches kind of on the surface is what it looks like, you know, when you're holding on to this case. Now, 
Other than that one, which that one is something that OtterBox can do, they can fix, they can go through their R&D department and make it a little less scratch resistant or more scratch resistant, we'll say, so it can have less scratches. The other thing that they can't really control is the inventory. So this is the second thing that's bad, negative with this case, which is also, I guess, a positive. That means that there's a lot of these cases being sold but it's really hard to find. So I purchased mine at a T-Mobile in a store right before the phone launched. So I know I needed to get a protective case at the very beginning because I didn't want to break a phone that I shoot videos with and that I also personally use. Um, but anyways, if you search for uh, this case, the Symmetry Clear case on otterbox.com, you will notice that it's out of stock and then you can sign up to get notified when it comes in. And my guess is we're about one month out. So you'll probably see more either towards the end of September, early October. October. Um, but other than that, on Amazon, it'll say it'll take between one to three months to ship. And that's because they would probably have to stock up the OtterBox website first before they do Amazon's website. So really finding this case will be pretty hard. The best way to probably find this is by going inside of a T-Mobile or Sprint or AT&T or Verizon. Um, I got mine from a T-Mobile, so you can probably check that out. So I would say go into a physical store location looking for the OtterBox Symmetry case that is clear and maybe call them first to see if they have it before you waste gas. But other than that, trying to find out otterbox.com and amazon.com is gonna be super hard, but I will be placing those links below the video inside the description. It's a little hard to find them because they are out of stock on Amazon. So I was able to find them. I extracted the links, placed it below. Uh, it's really funny because for the one for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, it says it's clear, but it has an image of a black case right next to the real black case. So it's kind of funny that I feel like it's a mishap of an image to make people not find it as easy so they can't order it so it wouldn't get backdated more. But nonetheless, the link is below the video inside the description if you're curious. I'll also place a link for otterbox.com so it'll take you to this link directly as well. But again, that one is also out of stock. But other than that, it is a good all around case. It protects the phone, the clickiness is there. So basically all of the functionality that you're looking for is there. It just happens to be that it gets blemishes with how easily it's able to be scratched when it should be scratch resistant and it's also really hard to find. So that is it. I wanted to share with you guys which case I've been using and also where you can find it, how you can find it. It will be a little hard, but again, it is an all around really good case. It's clear, protective, all that good stuff, as I said from before. But other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe on the very bottom left hand side, that little circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.